Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in an upcoming update, we have some nice changes coming for the targeting pod for the Viper. Uh, this includes uh, much better uh, modeling of the sensor point of interest for pointing, uh, the ability to better hand off targets in auto mode from the targeting pod to an infrared guided Maverick, uh, implementation of snowplow mode, and also want to touch a little bit on using INR mode uh, when the pod get, gets masked. Uh, so first, actually, let's take a look at that last one. So as you can see, I have the uh, Maverick uh, D version up on the right, targeting pod on the left. Let's go ahead and make targeting pod our sensor of interest, field of view. And as always, if you have trouble seeing targets, uh, you can always change the camera type. Right now we're TV, we can go team a short left to black hot, I'm sorry, white hot, and then black hot, and it looks pretty good. So targets over here, zoom in. And let's take a look at this guy right here. So right now it's in area mode, but of course we can go team is forward short. We can go to a point track mode. Now the key here to remember is if you're in area mode, the targeting pod is essentially remembering a scene uh, to determine its line of sight to that scene. Uh, if you're in point track mode, as you might imagine, it's using very much a point object that it's uh, determining its line of sight. Uh, the problem is whether it's an area or point, if the targeting pod can no longer see that area or point, it's going to start having slew errors. Uh, the key is, is actually before that happening, going into an IR mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at not how to do it first, and then we'll look at the solution as the second run. So we're going to be here in point track mode. Let's go ahead and unpause. And have a slew error. Okay, now the uh, pod is masked, so we can no longer see that point target. And the more I maneuver, the more slew errors I'm introducing to where the targeting pod is looking. And let's come back in again, and we'll take a look at where the targeting pod is looking now. And all likelihood, nowhere near the actual target location now. Yep, and as expected, targeting pods looking nowhere near where it should be. Okay, so that's the wrong way to do it. Now let's take a look at the right way to do it. So let's go uh, cursor zero twice, team is aft, back to the airfield. Let's find that same target, this guy. So right now we're in area. Let's go to INR, inertial, by going uh, team is aft short. So now there's no area or point indication, so we're in INR. And let's do the exact same thing again. We'll come back in and we'll see where the targeting pod is looking this time. Okay, we are masked again. Altitude. Altitude. Okay, let's do it again. And let's see where the pot's looking. and right where it should be. So as you can see, uh, remembering to go to INR first before you mask the pod is really important. Uh, next, let's take a look at uh, auto handoff. So of course, this only works for the uh, infrared versions, the D and the G. So we'll go to the targeting pod, we'll go to auto, we'll find the target we want. In this case, uh, this target here, we can keep an area for now. 
and we see that we have an S indication over uh, the weapon station. So we're in slave, meaning that wherever we slave uh, targeting pod, the Maverick will do the same. Let's actually go to the Maverick format, change our field of view back to the targeting pod. We see that we are 13 miles out. And it's important to remember too, if you try to hand off too early outside the range that the Maverick Seeker can actually lock onto it, you'll go into a break lock mode. And let's take a look at that. So let me uh, get a better pointing of the targeting pod. There. So I'm going to go Teams Forward Short to do the handoff. Handoff in progress, but it went into break lock because it's too far out. So let's go Teams Aft to cancel that. Eight miles. Wait till about seven and a half, which would be a proper range. Okay, Teams Forward Short. Now I got a lock and rifle. And INR and off the target. Okay, mast. Now, let's do the same thing with a EO guided uh, version of the Maverick, uh, namely an H or a Kilo. And the big thing differences with this is one, it has to be manual mode, not auto mode. Uh, second is the uh, lock ranges are going to be uh, quite a bit shorter, uh, generally around 4.5 to 5 miles and you'll have to do the actual designation to lock the Maverick from the Maverick page. Again, so let's go uh, bring up the hotel. So Smiz, hotel version, weapon video. And again, we'll go to manual mode, but we still have slave ability to uh, slave the Maverick video to wherever the targeting pod is looking. Okay, let's do that. Come back in. Okay. There's the dead target. Let's do this guy up here. So, well, again, we'll slave the Maverick to that location using the slave function. Now we'll change the SOI to the Maverick page. Let's change field of view. And again, right now we're too far out, seven miles. So again, if I go team is forward uh, short to uh, lock him, it won't. I'll go into break lock mode because I'm just too far away. I'm going to wait till about, let's try again, a little too far. Now I got a lock and rifle. Okay, and the last element I want to take a look at is the snowplow mode. And of course you can always have the uh, targeting pod slew to um, your steer point, but sometimes you may want to be more of a hunter killer and just uh, tool it around uh, looking for targets of opportunity. Uh, there's different ways you can do it, and when we add the uh, DTOS mode, that'll certainly be much more handy. But in the meantime, you can use a uh, snowplow. So let's uh, go ahead and crusher zero out of this, and now we can select SP down here for snowplow, and this fixes the targeting pod looking uh, directly ahead of us and not stabilized. So as we're moving forward, so is the targeting pod. Now up ahead we're here we have a little town and let's say if I want to go ahead and make a designation there using snowplow. So I'll go teams four short, designated, and now if I do a slew I can see where the targeting pod is actually looking with the box and the dot. And at this point if I wanted to I can go to Smiz, bring up a Mark 82,
and I could do a CCRP drop on that target if I wanted to. So folks, I very much hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.